Vitamin supplements line the aisles of pharmacies and health food stores, enticing consumers with promises of improved health. Yet, beneath the veneer of marketing lies a troubling truth, not all supplements deliver on their lofty claims. Recent research highlights the potential dangers lurking behind certain vitamin supplements, raising alarms about their role in precipitating chronic illnesses and premature mortality. This revelation thrusts the contentious issue of vitamin E supplementation into the spotlight, shedding light on the unsettling discoveries surrounding its use in supplement form. As science unravels the complexities, it becomes increasingly evident that caution is warranted when navigating the realm of vitamin supplementation. Vitamin E, touted for its antioxidant properties and purported ability to bolster the immune system while potentially warding off heart disease and certain cancers, is a staple in many supplement regimens. But the question remains, are these supplements truly safe and effective? To dissect the truth, we must delve into the nuances of vitamin E. To grasp the essence of vitamin E, it's imperative to recognize its classification as a group of fat-soluble compounds comprising tocopherols and tocotrienols. These variants collectively contribute to its multifaceted roles in maintaining health. While abundant in natural sources like vegetable oils, nuts, seeds, and leafy greens, the vitamin E prevalent in supplements is predominantly synthetically manufactured, typically in the form of alpha tocopherol. The discrepancy between synthetic and natural forms of vitamin E extends beyond mere chemical composition, it influences how our bodies metabolize and utilize the nutrient, thereby altering its biological effects. Unlike natural vitamin E, which is readily recognized and processed by the body, synthetic variants may pose challenges in absorption and utilization. This disparity can impact the efficacy of supplementation, potentially diminishing the anticipated health benefits. Moreover, research suggests that synthetic forms may lack certain cofactors and synergistic compounds present in natural sources further complicating their biological effects. Consequently, while synthetic vitamin E supplements may offer convenience and affordability, they may not provide the same comprehensive health benefits as their natural counterparts. Recognizing this distinction underscores the importance of informed decision-making when selecting vitamin E supplements. Opting for natural forms derived from food sources ensures maximal bioavailability and efficacy, aligning with the body's natural processes. By prioritizing natural sources, individuals can enhance the likelihood of reaping the full spectrum of health-promoting effects associated with vitamin E supplementation, thus safeguarding overall well-being. Disturbingly, studies have surfaced linking high doses of synthetic vitamin E supplements to heightened risks of various diseases, including an increased overall mortality rate associated with daily intakes exceeding 400 IU. Moreover, there's a concerning correlation between high synthetic vitamin E consumption and elevated prostate cancer risk, a paradox considering vitamin E's antioxidant properties. This anomaly can be attributed to the disparity between natural and synthetic vitamin E. While the former demonstrates anti-cancer efficacy, the latter fails to replicate these benefits. Additionally, synthetic vitamin E supplements have been implicated in depleting the body's levels of gamma tocopherol, a natural form believed to combat cancer cell formation. Compounding these concerns, research suggests that synthetic vitamin E may act as a prooxidant at high doses, exacerbating oxidation and free radical production rather than quelling it. Given these revelations, it's evident that while natural vitamin E derived from food sources may confer health benefits, excessive reliance on synthetic vitamin E supplements may precipitate more harm than good. This presents a conundrum, as most commercially available vitamin E supplements contain the synthetic form, identifiable by the ingredient DL-alpha tocopherol. So, what recourse exists for individuals seeking the purported benefits of vitamin E without courting potential harm? One avenue is to prioritize dietary sources rich in vitamin E, such as almonds, sunflower seeds, spinach, and broccoli. 
By embracing a balanced diet replete with diverse fruits, vegetables, seeds, and nuts, one can naturally obtain vitamin E sense the hazards associated with high-dose supplementation. For individuals still considering supplementation, viable alternatives exist. Natural vitamin E supplements, like mixed to coffrol formulations, provide a comprehensive array of alpha, beta, gamma, and delta forms, imparting diverse health benefits. Furthermore, tocotranol supplements present a promising option, as initial studies indicate potent anti-cancer properties not found in synthetic alpha tocopherol. By embracing these alternatives, supplement users can potentially mitigate the risks associated with synthetic forms while harnessing the full spectrum of health-promoting effects offered by natural sources. Such informed choices underscore the importance of prioritizing holistic approaches to supplementation, optimizing health outcomes while minimizing potential harm. In navigating the domain of vitamin E supplementation, moderation and balance emerge as fundamental principles. While acknowledging the indispensability of this micronutrient, the maxim more is not always better warrants attention. Opting for vitamin E derived from natural food sources whenever possible is advisable, as it ensures the intake of associated synergistic compounds. Additionally, exercising vigilance by scrutinizing supplement labels to discern between synthetic and natural forms is prudent. Adhering to recommended upper limits, which advise against exceeding 1,000 IU of natural vitamin E per day from all sources, serves as a safeguard against potential adverse effects. Embracing these strategies fosters a conscientious approach to supplementation, prioritizing the body's equilibrium and optimal functioning. By maintaining a balanced perspective and respecting the body's physiological needs, we can harness the benefits of vitamin E supplementation while mitigating associated risks, thereby promoting overall health and well-being. The synthetic versus natural debate concerning vitamin E reflects a broader concern within the supplement industry. By isolating and artificially producing single compounds, supplements risk disrupting the intricate synergies present in natural sources. This issue extends beyond vitamin E to encompass supplements like synthetic folic acid and high-dose beta-carotene, which could potentially introduce unforeseen health risks. While supplements may enhance nutrition, they should not replace a balanced diet abundant in diverse, minimally processed foods. Nature's complexity provides unmatched nutritional synergy, acting as our ultimate defense against deficiencies. Therefore, prioritizing whole foods over isolated compounds remains paramount for optimal health. Let's embrace the richness of natural nutrition, recognizing its inherent value in promoting overall well-being. In essence, the discussion surrounding vitamin E supplements emphasizes the vital need for informed choices. When uncertain, Favoring whole foods over excessive doses of isolated substances stands as the bedrock of good health. By adopting a diverse, wholesome diet, we provide our bodies with the holistic nourishment necessary for lasting vitality. Let's prioritize nutritional integrity, safeguarding our well-being for the long haul. Thank you for accompanying me on this enlightening expedition. If you find this video informative, Please like and subscribe and share it among your friends.